Okay folks, the fly I'm going to tie today is a Clyde style teal and black. There's a hook in the vise, it's a filling mill 50-50, um, size 14. A dry fly hook, but because of the way I'm going to fish this, I want um, a light hook. I'm going to start the thread just behind the eye. Three or four turns. And then snip that off. I'm then going to take some Semperfly wire, 0.1 millimetre in bright silver. Cross the, the hook. I'm going to take two or three turns of that and then I'll start to pull it through till it's just there. Just right on the edge. And then I'll wind close touching turns all the way back till we get to the point of the hook. Clyde style flies are quite short in the body. So we're about there. And then we'll go right back up to the front. Again in close touching turns. So we're about a couple of millimetres behind the eye. And then I'm going to rub this. Rub it not too close, not too wide. Maybe to get roughly five. Maybe I'm on either side. Oops, that's not quite the way it should be. Yeah, that's a bit better. A bit better again. And then I'll wind over this. Couple of turns. And then what I'll do is I'll fret this off. Just wind it back and forward and that will eventually crack the wire without cracking the thread. What I need now is a teal feather. It's quite a small one and what I've done to it as you can see is I've, I've separated what I don't need and what I do need and this is the side I want. I'm going to tie it in so that that point there, the middle between where the, they're going one way and the other is on exactly where the, hook, the thread is. I'm going to set that on top of the hook. Oops, he's spun. Spins, I'll just spin him back up. Two or three turns. Now I want to pull that through. And that'll bunch the thread, the fibres of the, the wing up till it's just past, just past the hook bend, like that. A wee turn, I think it's going to go the wrong way. It's sitting not too bad. <laughs> Take the scissors and close, snap that off. Next thing's a black hen cape. Uh, I'm going to use some of the smaller hackles near the front. You might notice there's a ball patch there because I've been using this for Clyde styles, which are predominantly 14s. So I'll take a feather. Strip the fluff off the front so it looks pretty much like that, and then I'm going to strip some of the fibres off the bottom of the, the hook because I don't want too many fibres. This is really intended to be sparse, so that can go there. Tie one, two. Three turns around that, and that sits on the side. And again, we'll take this off. Now I get a pair of hackle pliers. We'll pop them on there, just on the end. And we'll go one turn round, close in bit where the wings tied in. So, and we'll take, whoops, spinning at the road, two turns. And that's the, the way you want it, nice and sparse, nice and sparse. 
Oops. And that's that out. Very fortuitously. And I'll put a couple of turns of a whip in. One. Two. Two turns there. Put the needle in there, pull it forward. Now you can either wax this or you can put varnish on it. Either way, you want to just put a little bit on just to, to stop it from losing the head, just to protect it. I personally don't use varnish very much, I'd rather use wax, but I'll just put a bit of varnish on this this time. So what I do is I make a couple of turns of a whip. Hold that open, or maybe not. Not very really good for this woman in front of me. That's two turns, get a finger in there. Take my varnish, thin varnish is best because it will slide into the. Anyway, I just paint. A little bit of varnish on the actual thread, the length of thread you have. Look in there, I'll pull that tight. And that is it. Take the thread off. Very simple fly, but extremely effective. It works on rivers, it works on lochs, lakes, lochs. Um, it works in small still waters for brown trout, for rainbow trout. Um, if you want to, you can change the, the style of it by using a, a thicker hook to make it sink. You can use bigger hooks for if you're fishing in an evening or you're fishing on a, a windy loch. You can tie it on different types of hook there. You've got a curved one that looks a bit like a buzzer rising, perhaps a, a duck fly or some sort of, sort of thing. But it is a very, very effective little fly. And that's it. Thank you very much.